Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. This video we will be yet again exploring the moisture slash water sensor. So in our earlier videos we have used the LED as an output device as well as the buzzer as an output device. This time we will basically combine those two into one circuit and see whether we can use the water sensor to control the lighting up of the LED and the sound of the buzzer. So let's quickly take a look at how this works. When I dip this sensor into the, wa into the water, the LED will light up and the buzzer will go on. So as you can see, when I dip this sensor into the water, the LED would light and the buzzer would go on. Let's take a look at this once again. Alright, so now let's quickly take a look at the wiring for the circuit and the code required for this, pro uh, for this circuit. Alright, so in order to create the circuit, we will require three male to female wires, four male to male jumper wires, an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, an LED, a buzzer, and our water sensor. So let's get started with the circuit. So we will start by connecting our water sensor to the Arduino Uno. It has three pins, the first one being the signal pin. So this pin is connected into an analog pin. So any of the six analog pins. Then we have our VCC, which is connected into five volts and our, and our ground pin, which is connected into the ground of our Arduino Uno. So let's quickly start the connection so first of all let's take a wire and connect it into the signal pin of our sensor and the other end goes into analog pin 0 then we have our VCC pin which goes into the 5 volts so let's quickly connect it in there and lastly our ground pin which will go into the ground of our Arduino Uno. Alright, once we are done with the connections of our water sensor, we will bring our breadboard and an LED. So the LED has two terminals, one of them being the positive and the other one being a negative terminal. The longer, the longer wire will be the positive terminal. So let's go ahead and connect our positive terminal to the Arduino Uno's digital pin number 9 all right once we are done with that we will connect the negative negative terminal into the ground of our arduino uno and last then next we have our buzzer this buzzer will go into the the positive end of the buzzer will go into the digital pin number 11 and our negative end will go into the ground of our Arduino Uno. So those are all our connections and wiring. Now let's quickly take a look into the program for this circuit. Alright, so this right here is our program. So let's quickly run through this program. Towards the top, we have our four variables, out of which three of them are constant variables. What do you mean by constant variables? Basically, the variable's value will remain constant and it won't change. We have uh, one variable that is not constant, that is our water val. Because the value of our water sensor can keep changing. Sometimes it might detect water and sometimes it may not. In our void setup, we have defined our buzzer and LED as output devices and our water sensor as an input device. In our void loop, we are basically telling the Arduino to read the values coming in from the water sensor and store them in the water well. And then if, uh, if water is detected, then the two, uh, the two devices should, um, you know, uh, the, the two de uh, devices should function. And if there's no water, then both the devices will basically stop functioning. Uh, the LED will glow dark and the buzzer will grow silent. So what? let's quickly upload our program and see how our circuit reacts to it. 
all right so once we're done writing down the code all that's left is to plug in this usb cable and upload the program so our goal is when we dip this into the water our led and buzzer should function so let's try it out as you can see our circuit is working because when i dip this in our buzzer and led function uh, you might uh, see if uh, even if i've taken it out the buzzer and led are lighting up this is because there's still some water left on it so it's important to actually you know rub it off so in case you like the content do subscribe to the channel and drop a like rating on this video in case of any queries do write it down in the comment section down below